My name is Jennifer Matei. I'm a professor of biology at Sacred Heart University. And today we're out at Milford Point. Um, it's a stewardship area uh, associated with the Long Island Sound Study Program. And um, it's a very important area uh, for many reasons, um, mainly the uh, bird life and also um, with the main creature that I study is the horseshoe crab. So uh, with my colleagues at Sacred Heart University, um, we started a large um, outreach program called Project Limulus. Um, the main focus is the conservation and uh, gathering of data on horseshoe crab population in Long Island Sound. But we do this through uh, the interaction with citizens who live around and near the sound. And so uh, they become um, interactive with the the horseshoe crab and Long Island Sound itself, and they understand at the end of our program uh, how important horseshoe crabs are to human health and to the ecosystem that you see behind me. The uh, horseshoe crab has uh, ecological importance in that uh, when it lays its eggs every spring up on the beaches, um, many other organisms benefit by consuming the eggs and um, particularly shorebirds. Uh, shorebirds will um, stop here on their migratory route up to the Arctic to lay their own eggs and um, the one reason they can make that flight is that they can double their body weight by consuming horseshoe crab eggs. Uh, the main epicenter of, of that activity is mainly in Delaware Bay but um, these natural stewardship areas are important as well as stopover sites for a number of species of shorebird. Um, there are both uh, resident and migratory birds that come through this site and they um, all pretty much interact with the horseshoe crab. Um, beyond that, there are over 20 species that live on or around horseshoe crabs. Uh, horseshoe crabs tend to burrow through the sand and um, uh, put nutrients up into the water and so they are an integral part of the, the ecosystem here.